thank you all for joining us today for the APU Spring Honors Assembly. I would like to hand things over to Dr. Hilton Halleck, our acting president, to begin the program today with a welcome, a land acknowledgement, and to also announce the first few awards. Thanks, Kaylee. Welcome to the 2021 Honors Assembly. This occasion gives us the opportunity to recognize the achievements of students, staff, and faculty at Alaska Pacific University. And we're glad that you have taken the time to celebrate with us. This year, because of the pandemic, we're unable to gather in person, but I'm here on campus and I would like to take a moment to recognize the Dena'ina people on whose land we work, learn, and play. We are grateful for their teaching and their past, present, and future stewardship of the natural resources of this region. Thank you also to our Student Government Association, ASAPU, and to their advisors for pulling this program together. Let's start with the Faculty Merit Awards. The recipients of the Faculty Merit Awards are nominated by their peers and selected by a committee of the previous year's recipients. Thank you to Rachel Miller and Roseanne Pagano for coordination of the selection process this year. The Faculty Merit Award for Teaching goes to Farrah Green Palmer from the Institute of Health and Wellness. Distinguished by her professional expertise combined with classroom teaching that is inclusive, welcoming, and effective, Assistant Professor of Psychology Farrah Green Palmer is recognized for delivering an exemplary course on social justice in a year marked by global upheaval and disparities heightened by the coronavirus pandemic. Nominators highlighted Farrah's collegiality, willingness to take on a leadership role, and her capacity to develop meaningful connections with students. Congratulations and thank you, Farrah. The Faculty Merit Award for service goes to Dave Anafrychuk of the Institute for Culture and Environment. Driven by a passion for showcasing student literary work, Assistant Professor of Creative Writing and Composition, Dave Anafrychuk, is recognized for realizing the addition of the Master of Fine Arts program at APU, scheduled to enroll next summer. After the University of Alaska halted its program, David's commitment to developing Alaska-based writers led him to research, propose and win approval for the MFA program at APU. Nominators highlighted his capacity to work productively with colleagues throughout the APU despite a year of pandemic related social distancing. Thank you, David, and congratulations. This year we have two recipients, co-recipients for the Faculty Merit Scholarship Award, Dr. Aaron Larson and Dr. Alexander Lee. A co-author this year on three peer-reviewed articles and a regular presenter of her scientific findings, Assistant Professor of Environmental Science Erin Larson is recognized for scholarship and peer mentoring that advances APU's efforts to become a tribal university. Nominators noted Erin's ability to meaningfully feature her research and coursework to benefit students. Demonstrating a capacity for productive scholarship as well as topical opinion writing, Assistant Professor of Philosophy Alex Lee is recognized as an APU thought leader who seamlessly combines his passion for philosophy with the love of the outdoors. Nominators noted Alex's commitment to publishing regularly while maintaining a full-time teaching and advising schedule. Congratulations to both Alex and Aaron. The Staff Employee of the Year is selected by the staff of APU, drawing from the pool of employees recognized throughout the year as staff members of the month. This year's Staff Employee of the Year is Alistair Dunbar, Senior Office Specialist in Student Enrollment Services. Alistair works with all of the departments within S the SES suite, and he's often the first person people meet when they come to APU and SES. Here are some of the comments from his nomination. Alistair has been extremely helpful with student accounts, often going above and beyond. He is positive and energetic, which makes everyone around him feel better too. He's done an amazing job keeping the front desk operations of SES running smoothly, even when he is working remotely. His willingness to help with any project brought to him is greatly appreciated. Alistair has a great attitude. He is a wonderful example of the exceptional staff at APU. He has shown a strong positive influence to our community during hard times. Alistair has a great attitude and is always willing to pitch in to help other departments. His friendly demeanor is a real joy to have on campus. Congratulations, Alistair, and thank you for your contributions to APU. 
Thank you very much, Hilton. Sure. All right, I will hand things over to Beverly Holmes to announce our next award. Thank you, Kelly. Um, and thank you to all of you for attending this honors assembly. The Institute of Business and Public Policy would like to announce their scholarship awards for the 2020-21 year. Our undergrad recipient is Zoe Noble. Zoe is a double major, so it's business and creative and professional writing. She is also on the ski team. She is also a member of the Anchorage Biathlon team, and she took on the role of editor and club president of Turnigan Currents. So she, she does this holding down a full-time job and maintaining a 3.6 GPA. So congratulations to Zoe. Our second one is at uh, the graduate level, and it goes to Stanislav Moseyev. Stan has come to AFU from, from abroad and has successfully navigated language and culture challenges. He's been a graduate assistant, student worker, and the ASAPU graduate representative. He is currently involved in ASAPU's social media campaign to promote APU as, as well as to highlight Oprah APU and promote our students. In his spare time, he volunteers at the food bank and, at the national, and on National Philanthropy Day, all while maintaining a 4.0 GPA. So we really want to congratulate these two worthy recipients and thank, thank them for their great work and give them props to continue their good work. Thank you, Beverly. All right, next up, I will hand things over to Roseanne Pagano to announce our next awards. Two students are awarded with the Liberal Studies Outstanding Student Award. Olivia Olson is a charismatic student with a passion for social justice. She is vice president of APU student government and a dedicated student of liberal studies and Alaska Native governance. Olivia is always prepared for class and leads discussion with grace. She is a much appreciated student of liberal studies. Brennan Land is a leader in the classroom, guiding discussion among peers with insight and grace. She has a knack for articulating the core issues at hand while steering conversation to unexpected places with thought-provoking connections to a wider context in the world around us. Brennan's writing is a pleasure to read, attentive to all the details that bring arguments and narrative to life. Two students are honored with the Renaissance Award presented by Liberal Studies. Zoe Noble is a double major in business administration and creative and professional writing and a member of the APU ski team. For the past two years, Zoe has served diligently as editor of Turnigan Currents, the APU student journal, and she has shown impressive professionalism. She's committed to editing that brings out the best in others. Turnigan Currents featured the highest numbers of individual authors from throughout campus this year and we have Zoe's efforts to thank for that. A student journalist with a professional's commitment to accuracy, fairness, diversity, and deadlines, Rose Gildersleeve is a graceful writer as adept as contributing, at contributing thoughtfully to class discussion as she is generous when helping peers with their story ideas. The Liberal Studies faculty is honored to present Rose with a Renaissance Award in 2021. Two students are honored with the Master of Arts Program Student of the Year Award. Respected by mentors and peers alike for her professionalism, perseverance, unfailing good humor, and commitment to high standards, Robin Williams is a MAP Student of the Year who embodies diligence in the face of hurdles. Robin's capstone project investigated the role of Bible-based journaling to improve well-being, and it exemplifies the Master of Arts program commitment to applying the liberal studies for real-world solutions. An accomplished researcher who's adept at philosophy, marine biology, and taking part in poetry slams, Kat O'Brien sets the bar high for her MAP peers and mentors. Kat's, cat, Kat's map capstone investigates awe and the ways a ubiquitous creature like the sea star has power to inspire wonder in all of us. In addition to earning her Master of Arts degree, Kat recently heard back from the doctoral program in philosophy at the University of Georgia. She's in. 
Thank you. Congratulations to our students. Thank you, Roseanne. I will hand things over to Dave Onafrychuk to announce our next awards. Okay. I will be presenting some writing awards right now. We have the uh, Jane Hartman Writing Award that we are presenting to two students today. And it's a scholarship, um, I believe, for $500 each uh, per student. And the first one goes to Raylene Active, a self-directed student who embodies grit, wisdom, and a sheer love of learning. She is a recipient of the Hartman Prize awarded by the Liberal Studies faculty for exemplary writing by an undergraduate. Raylene's ability to comment honestly on life while emphasizing hope amid obstacles is among her many writing gifts. The next one goes to Laura Ditto. She is a passionate storyteller whose intuition leads readers to new and surprising places time and again. Most impressive is her commitment to the revision process. She's never satisfied with the first draft, as good as it might be, eager to build upon the feedback of others and reach greater heights in every project. A telltale sign of many good things to come. So yay to them, yay. Um, next, we have the best of Turnigan Currents. And uh, this is awarded to students who have submitted to our student journal, Turnigan Currents. We feature their work online. And then we uh, feature the best of that as chosen by the editors in a print edition. And from those chosen to the print edition, we hand off a bunch of those selections to our uh, writer in residence for the year. And that happens to be Dante Medema. Uh, she wrote The Truth Project, um, a novel in verse, very good, uh, available wherever books are sold. <laughs> And we have three prizes. I'll start with the third place $40 prize. And that goes to how an ancient military staple became Alaska's favorite cracker. And that's by Abigail Slater. Dante writes, as an Alaskan, I'm ashamed to admit how little I knew about this subject. A wonderful exploration of a subject we all know, but might, might not know much about. The second place $60 prize goes to Colorado by Zoe Noble. Dante writes, the story made me tear up. I could feel the pain of loss here. The images evoked really spoke to me. I'd read this whole book. And the first place, $100 prize for the best of Turnigan Currents this year is What is Considered Success by Alaska Native Students by Violet Yeaton. Dante writes, I love the question posed here and the author clearly was passionate about the subject. I turned the page hoping for more. For early honors recognition, we have two that we are giving this award to. Um, the first is to the first is to Maya Mossinen. Maya is a wonderfully cheerful presence in the classroom. She adds to every conversation with an infectious enthusiasm that encourages others to share from their own personal experiences, enriching the overall discussion all while consistently completing her assignments at a high level. I've had her in a few classes, very enjoyable to teach her. The uh, second award recipient here is Michael Earnhardt. He is a superb student and an excellent skier on the APU ski team. His work in math and science is neat and clear without being verbose. The complicated problems seem so clear and obvious to him. Although he is not one to talk in class without a prompt, you can always get him to open up by asking him about his many dogs. Great, thank you so much. Next up, I'll have Stephanie Morgan announce the next few awards. Thanks, Kaylee. Um, I will be presenting awards from the Institute of Health and Wellness for Counseling Psychology and for Nursing. The Counseling Psychology Outstanding Student Award this year goes to Megan Rossing. Megan has demonstrated incredible ability to remain an engaged member of her community of learners by standing out as she has navigated the pandemic learning environment. Moreover, her contributions in her courses are thoughtful and considerate, reflecting a thirst for knowledge and care for her colleagues. 
Our next award is the Jim Parsons Memorial Scholarship. Jim Parsons was an original faculty member at Alaska Methodist University in its psychology program. He was also Alaska's first mental health practitioner prior to statehood and later served in the Alaska State Legislature. The award is given to a student in counseling psychology with an active spirit for volunteering and demonstrates social responsibility and concern for others through his or her actions. This year, Counseling Psychology is pleased to pre present the Jim, Mar Jim Parsons Memorial Scholarship to Yvette Curtis. Yvette reflects the spirit of the Jim Parsons Memorial Scholarship as she is embedded in her community as a counselor working with individuals who struggle with substance abuse. The primary focus of her professional life has been to help some of the most vulnerable members of our communities. Yvette also engages in service learning to help prevent suicide among members of the military. Our next award in health and wellness goes to the outstanding nursing student, um, which is Libby Nichols. Libby has been attending APU as an active registered nurse and working at all along. She is engaged in the sustainability of nursing and nurses by working to explore the development of emotional intelligence as a strategy to prevent nurse burnout. All right, I will hand things over to Dr. Brad Harris with the APU FAST Lab to announce our next award. Great, thank you so much, Kaylee. Um, it is my pleasure on behalf of the uh, selection committee for the ASSE Processes Association Endowed Scholarship to announce this year's award. A quick overview, uh, the ASSE Processes Association is a trade association representing six member companies that own and operate uh, 15 US flagship catcher vessel or catcher processor vessels that participate primarily in the Alaska Pollock fishery and the West Coast Pacific whiting fishery. Uh, this organization has had a long history of fantastic support for uh, APU students in terms of education and research. Uh, this scholarship fund was endowed in 2000, making this the 21st year in a row uh, of funding support. And cumulatively, this is well over uh, half a million dollars that's been given to students to support their education and research activities at APU. Um, students are selected based on a couple different criteria. One is acad uh, high academic performance in terms of their GPA greater than uh, 3.5, as well as a demonstrated desire to continue to work in marine biology or fishery related fields in Alaska after graduation. And the students are a request to submit an application with a small uh, statement of their um, intent to continue to do these activities. So this year we only had one applicant, uh, even though we extended the application period for a day. And so this year's applicant uh, and successful awardee is uh, Mr. Ben Wilkins. Ben is a graduate student in the MSCS program, and he has uh, just recently completed his thesis proposal on a project investigating um, the abundance of biomass and distribution of sea cucumbers in Prince William Sound, Alaska. This is pretty exciting. Um, ben is, has some financial needs to carry out his project, and it's probably fitting that this year's award from at -Sea Processors to Ben will be $30,000 which Ben will have available to support his uh, academic costs and tuition, as well as his project in the field. So that concludes my announcements. Really exciting. Back to you, Kaylee. Thanks, Brad. That's awesome. All right. Next up, we will have Roman Dial and Aaron Larson announce their awards. I'm pleased to announce that we have two Marine and Environmental Science Outstanding Student Awards. And I'm going to present uh, Toshio Matsuoka, as he stands out as one of the best students in the Marine Environmental Science Program, the university, and in my career at APU. Toshio left a really strong impression on me as a 17-year-old in statistics a couple of years ago, and an even stronger one last year as a 19-year-old field assistant walking and pack rafting with my field crew last summer. Toshio's upbeat attitude, his skills in helping others, and his willingness to put forth effort in everything he does complement his aptitude for math, science, writing, music, and photography, making him one of the most outstanding students in the Marine Environmental Science Program. The other science and math faculty agree that Toshio more than deserves this award as an outstanding student. Thank you, Roman. And I'll be giving the second um, outstanding Student Award for the Marine Environmental Sciences Program. And Ayla Crosby is one of the Outstanding Student Award recipients for MES. Ayla has consistently impressed her professors with her exemplary work in her science classes throughout her time at APU. She is a thoughtful and constructive scientist who finds creative connections between topics and is always impressively organized. 
She is quick to participate in class discussions and to give her classmates a helping hand. In addition to her MES major, Ayla is completing an OS minor, balancing her interest in science with her passion for outdoor adventures. She is adept both at the complex math of physics and calculus and the intricacies of climbing systems, and the MES faculty are excited to see how she combines these interests in marine science and the outdoors in her future endeavors. Awesome, thank you. So now we will have Roman Dial and Jason Geck continue announcing the next award. I'm pleased to announce one of the two winners of uh, this year's Alaska Association of Environmental Professionals Award, and it goes to Melissa Mobley. Melissa is a bright and motivated student in the MES program, and she brings her excitement for learning to every class. We have confidence that Melissa will be successful in the field of environmental science. Thanks, and I'll be announcing the second award winner of this. And this is a uh, MSES graduate student who's been also being awarded the Alaska Association of Environmental Professional Award for $650 for her studies at APU. And the word that comes to my mind when I think of the student is persistence. She has one goal in mind after school and that's to be a pilot biologist as a career. She's currently working on her commercial license while taking a full load of classes at APU and working on her thesis. And she's been recently accepted into a pilot mentoring program at the National Park Service. And so that's gonna help her on her, uh, as another step towards her goal. And I'm assured that Wella J will have the persistence to both complete her studies, thesis, and ultimately be successful in her career as a pilot biologist. Congratulations, Wella. And I'm also here to announce the uh, awardees for the Alaska Space Grant. If you're not familiar with it, this is a, it's a house out of UAF, but any student who's doing STEM related work or education can apply for this. And so I just wanted to mention this to few, all students to apply for this. And this year's award winners are for both, there's three categories. There's the undergraduate research assistant, and this is Gabriella Camera Fowett for $6,000. She'll be working with me doing work out on Aklutna Rivers. Um, Caitlin McConnon is also getting $6,000 to work with Aaron, looking at um, water quality and macroinvertebrates in the Anchorage um, Kirk Island region. And then a graduate student award, this is again, Wella Jay is getting $15,000 to work with me doing snow research up in Akutna. And then finally for faculty awards, um, Dr. D. Barker is getting $15,000 to work on improving classes and her title is Engagement, Innovation and Online Guided Inquiry Projects. And so if you haven't heard about the Alaska Space Grant, check it out for other possible awards for students and faculty, thanks. Thank you so much. I will hand things over to Pam Maslick to announce our next award. Hi, um, I'm here to announce the Rusty Myers Memorial Scholarship Award. And um, the student has been in all of my math classes. Um, and I would like to uh, present this award to Gabby Camera Barro. Gabby has a love of learning and of the natural world, especially her home, Alaska. Gabby's scientific and mathematical studies and research during her time at APU has been exceptional. Her future plans include research in the Eklutna watershed, which she hopes will aid in restoring the salmon run in the Eklutna basin. All right, next up, I will hand it over to Ava to announce our next awards. Well, I have an honor to announce the Outdoor Studies Outstanding Student of the Year. Pandemic year has been an interesting experience, especially for outdoor studies community, since our students usually excel in authentic field experiences and learn through physical interactions between people and the environment. But while most of the students have stretched their mental focus and academic grit through this unusual, mostly virtual year, we would really like to applaud OS Outstanding Student for staying on track, being resilient with challenges, both academic and in, with family, and inspiring others with her composure and calm, Kim Ayek. As a lifelong Alaskan, um, she came from dental work and decided to change her life goals uh, to become an outdoor professional. She's looking in the future of uh, adventure therapy 
And Kim will be a steady and genuine role model for any upcoming outdoor professionals. And we hope you keep it real for your final semester here at APU, Kim. So next up, Dassault Marshall Award. And Dassault Marshall Award supports outdoor studies students who are planning on growing their personal skills on expeditions or any kind of adventures, really. And Dassault Marshall was an outdoor studies senior who passed away in a climbing accident in 2015. This year's recipient resembles in many ways Dassault's passion for climbing and ambitious drive. Chloe Steiner, who is a double majoring in MES and OS, is a self-motivated dynamo who applies herself fully both in academic life and outdoor adventures. She will use the scholarship funds to build her personal climbing gear inventory to further her, further her personal skills on trad climbing trip to Red Rocks and beyond for this fall. We wish you a successful climbing season, Chloe. Thank you. Next up, I will hand things over to Paul Twardock. Thanks, Kaylee. Um, I'm very excited about Honors Assembly always. It's a wonderful um, time to share everybody's accomplishments. I am very happy to uh, announce a number of scholarships and awards that are generously been given to us by um, a number of donors that support our students. Uh, the first is the Adventure Cap Award. The Adventure Cap Award aims to increase diversity in the outdoor profession. Uh, the donor is, uh, raises money by running, by going out and doing long distance mountain runs and skis, um, and he's a recent uh, OS alum. Uh, for this year's award, we're very happy to give to uh, Kim Ayak, who also uh, got the outstanding students. You've heard a bit about Kim, but uh, Kim is um, original, originally from uh, Chinook and her father's from King Island. Uh, and she is, again, like we said, interested in adventure therapy and uh, promoting um, uh, sort of a health, the outdoors, the healthy lifestyle for folks. So congratulations, Kim. The next awards award are, are the Jim and Dee Mahaffey Award. Uh, Jim and Dee have been longtime supporters of APU. Jim's a um, professor emeritus of um, AMU and APU. Uh, this year's awards, uh, we're giving two out. Uh, one goes to Megan Rents. Megan will be going on expedition mountaineering. It's her last class, I believe, in outdoor studies before graduating this summer. She is, a, like I said, a senior. She grew up in Colorado and has found her passion and love for teaching in the outdoors uh, while at the same time being a ski instructor. Uh, she uh, started at uh, Colorado Mountain College, transferred to APU, and her professional focus is on maximizing the public school classroom experience to more use of the outdoors and the natural environment. The next Jim and Dima Happy Award goes to Izzy Eckhart. She'll be taking uh, expedition leadership in the fall. Uh, Izzy is a student that gets the most out of her APU experience, even in the year of COVID. Besides being a diligent student, she's also the OS career room manager, which she runs, um, and I'm very grateful for this, very efficiently and very professionally. Uh, we wish her well on the expedition course this coming fall. The next up in outdoor studies are the Nick and Laura Guile Scholarship. Nick was a outdoor studies student and graduated a few years ago. Uh, they, uh, this scholarship uh, uh, helps assist students with student uh, course fees and uh, expenses. Uh, for this year, we're very happy to give this award to Lou May Kuch. Lou May is going on expedition uh, leadership class in the fall. She's a junior in outdoor studies and who I would say is one of the most enthusiastic, positive, outgoing person who, quote, loves life even through the tough times. She's a hard worker. She's a cook, uh, which is very useful in the outdoors. I want her on my trips. Um, and she's learning, uh, she's using her APU career to uh, prepare to launch a high quality food and bakery items for people in Alaska's backcountry. I'm really looking forward to that, Lou May. The next outdoor study war is the Callie Ann Rittman Scholarship. Callie passed away in a, a, a ice climbing accident a year ago, 
and her family has generously um, supported this award in her honor. Uh, this year's, uh, and the first recipient of the Kalyan Rittman Scholarship is Annika Smidgen. Uh, Annika is gonna be using it to buy equipment to support her senior project. Um, she will be uh, hiking uh, parts of the Pacific Coast Trail. Since her arrival, Annika has been a hardworking student who sets and achieves high goals. I remember at one point, she's like, I wanna do the Lazy Mountain race. And this is not any race. This is like a 9,000 foot race. Um, and because of COVID, the race didn't happen and she did it anyways. So she's a very driven, a positive student and uh, with a GPA of 3.94. So congratulations, Annika. All right, thank you, Paul. Next up, we have Steve Rubenstein to announce the next award. Thanks, Kelly. Yeah, I am pleased to recognize two students for the Master of Science in Outdoor and Environmental Education program. Uh, they are Emily Miller and Lily Gritzavage. Um, they are both being recognized for student excellence this year. Um, all years can be challenging in their own right, but this year in particular, uh, the students in this program started outdoors doing outdoor education and they continued doing that all the way through October, uh, where we were able to actually hold classes in person, which was wonderful. Uh, and we did that by being socially distanced outside the entire time. Uh, both of these students are pursuing their thesis projects that I think will have great impacts well beyond themselves uh, and just their interests. Uh, Emily Miller first is working with Polar Bears International to develop curriculum with them that will help address the challenges that we all face with climate change. And Lily Gritzavage will be working on a thesis project on trails uh, and understanding barriers to trail use in the Anchorage Bowl area. Hopefully, uh, if you're out on the trails this summer, you will see her at Trailheads. And if you do, hopefully you will take her survey while you're there. Uh, and both of them uh, also will be uh, actively working additional jobs over the summer to help both pay for their education, but also contribute to outdoor and environmental education through that work. So congratulations to them. Thank you so much. Next up, I will hand things over to Janice Little Bear to announce the next two awards. Thank you, Kaylee. As director of the Teacher Education K-8 Certificate Program at APU, I have the honor of awarding two scholarships this year to three students. And I think it's very exciting to know our future's in good hands with these three students. All three are going to leave APU with a master's, two from Roseanne and one from Steve's program. First, the Barney Godstein Endowed Scholarship, which totals $4,000. This year, it will be shared by two recipients. I wanna tell you a little bit about the background of this scholarship. Lawrence and William Carr established this endowed scholarship to honor their business partner and lifelong friend, Barney Godstein. He was an Army World War II vet who attended the University of Washington and became an aeronautical engineer. Barney shared his mother's passion for education and supported education in Alaska. He was chair of the State Board of Education and provided financial assistance to hundreds of Alaska Native students through scholarships and underwriting programs. He was an inaugural member of the Alaska Human Rights Commission. That's an organization whose voice is key today in 2021. And he served as chairman of the Alaska Board of Education and sponsored scholarships for students. His son, Jim, shared how his father, quote, just quietly without any fanfare, helped hundreds of students receive an education. The criteria for this endowed scholarship is for an Alaska Native student preferred or Native American student who has the intention to teach in rural Alaska following graduation. So this year's recipients are two each of them will receive $2,000. One is a descendant of the Seneca Nation and she prefers to remain anonymous. The other is a descendant of Guida, a new tribe to me, a part of the Cherokee Nation and her name is Alexandria Williams. 
She grew up as a mixed race child in the Great Smoky Mountains of North Carolina, surrounded by elements of the good old Southern culture, she told me, with her sacred indigenous culture and traditions. Alix has established herself as part of her native heritage by being respectful, genuine, and transparent about her race and always wanting to learn more. She holds close to her heart the daily, weekly, and yearly ceremonies that she's gained over the years and continues to cherish to this day. For the past three years, Alix has been living with people in the Yukon, and currently she's on the Aleutian Islands among the Rick rich mixture of indigenous people there. Um, she continues to learn and grow there through APU's MAPS program. So congratulations to Alix as one of this two years, this year's two recipients for Barney Godstein Endowed Scholarship. And finally, when it comes to scholarships, this one is the Cliff Hartman, husband of Jane, who someone referred to earlier, award of $1,000. Cliff and his wife spent their entire lives in Alaska. Cliff was the consummate educator, school administrator, and during the late 1960s, he was actually commissioner of education for the state of Alaska under Governor Walter Hickel. This scholarship is awarded to someone on the basis of scholarly merit and strong interest in teaching, teacher education, or educational methodology. And so for our final award this morning, at least at this, this recording, I want to say congratulations to Carly Tinza. She is the perfect recipient of such a scholarship. She's enrolled in the Master of Science Outdoor Studies and Teacher Education K-8 Certificate Program. She describes herself as an educator who believes in the power of outdoor experiences, student-led learning, and culturally proficient place-based learning. That is a perfect APU recipient. Her passion for teaching has been burning bright for years and has only grown since enrolling in the co-op program at APU. Carly feels inspired by the youth in Alaska and she believes teaching is one of the most sacred professions someone can have. It helps that her perfect scholarly merit and academic achievement are worthy of this award. Congratulations, Carly Tenza, as a recipient of this year's Cliff Hartman Teaching Award of $1,000. All right, next up, I will pass it along to Olivia Olson, the current ASAP Vice President, to announce the next couple of awards. Hello, everyone. This year, we have a tie for Club of the Year. I am happy to announce that both Games Club and Craft House Club have been nominated and selected to receive this award. Congratulations to both clubs and thank you for continuing to put on fun activities for AP students and for being adaptable during the pandemic. Next, I will announce the Club Advisor of the Year Award. This award is given to a club advisor who provides support in their club through committing time and energy and by initiating and or encouraging club members to learn and grow through involvement. This year, we would like to honor Ben Hahn for his participation in and excellent advising of the Games Club. Awesome. Thanks, Olivia. Next up, I will pass it along to the current ASAPU president, Grace Schultz, to announce the last few awards. I have the honor of announcing this year's Academic Advisor of the Year Award. Nominations for this award were solicited from all current APU students, and I am happy to announce that Shanice Lawton will be receiving this year's Academic Advisor Award. Although Shanice has only been with us since August, her enthusiasm, commitment, and positive attitude have been far-reaching. Congratulations, Shanice. Thank you so much for your hard work. Next up, I have the ASAPU Dedication Award. The ASAPU Dedication Award is given to any individual APU community member who is responsible for identifying, researching, and bringing to conclusion an activity which resulted in a positive impact upon the APU community. I am so happy to announce Alisa Burnett as this year's recipient of the ASAPU Dedication Award. Alisa exhibited an outstanding contribution <clears throat> of time and effort going above the call of duty to help ASAPU organize and plan the virtual ASAPU murder mystery event. 
Congratulations, Elisa, you certainly deserve this award. And finally, I have the pleasure of announcing the Outstanding Contribution to Students Award. The Outstanding Contribution to Students Award are given to two members of the AKPU community, one student and one staff or faculty. The first award is being given to student Stan Mozif. Stan is a hardworking individual and served as the graduate class representative this year. The second award is for the Dean of Students, Ben Hahn. Both recipients are known for encouraging students' educational growth, promoting the development of maximum student potential, and encouraging students to become involved in the APU community, and for participating in and supporting extracurricular activities at APU. Congratulations to both Ben and Stan. All right, next up, we will hear from Ben Hahn, the Dean of Students, who will be announcing the results of the ASAPU spring election. Hello. It is my great pleasure to announce the elected ASAPU assembly for the 2021-2022 academic year. The following students have been elected by their peers to serve and represent them. Please join me in congratulating the new ASAPU board members. Senior Representative Rebecca Berrigan. Treasurer Mackenzie Larson. Vice President Desiree Avon. And President Grace Schultz. Congratulations to the 2020-2021 ASAPU Assembly. The Dean of Students Office would like to thank all the students who ran for office and who voted in the election process. ASAPU will hold a fall election in September for the unfilled positions. Those are early honors, first year, sophomore, junior, grad rep, and secretary. If you are interested in running for any of these positions, please contact the Dean of Students Office for more information. Again, congratulations to the new ASAPU board.